What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a very highly anticipated tweak called OS Experience. Now this tweak was actually in development for quite some time. This was actually teased before the iOS 7 jailbreak was even released. So it's been in development for quite some time, so it's had a long time coming. Now having said that, there's a lot that goes on with OS experience. Now this is going to completely change the way that you use your iPad. So this could either be in a good way or a bad way depending on, you know, your preference really. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and walk you through all of the features that OS experience has because this actually comes with a pretty hefty price tag of $9.99. So I want to go ahead and give you guys all that you need to know about OS experience that way you can make an informed decision whether or not you want to purchase this now this is only a tweak that will work with the iPad just because what this tweak does is minimize applications into a window format that way you can easily multitask and the iPhone just doesn't have enough screen real estate in order to fully utilize this tweak so let's go ahead and start walking through OS experience. So you can see right here that we have the springboard open. Now if we open up an application, then what it's going to do is allow us to quickly switch between that application. As you can see right here, this is just a blank springboard. But if I have an application open, it's gonna be right there. And you can quickly get back to your springboard just by a five finger pinch right there. So let's go ahead and open up an application. Let's say we wanna open up Safari here. And you can see that nice little animation that it has right there. It swipes through all of your desktops. And I'll show you that in just a second. But what you can do right here is actually pull down the menu bar by swiping down with four fingers. You can either close out of the application or you can minimize the application right here. So we're gonna minimize the application just by tapping that right there. And you can see that it actually goes into a window format. So like I was saying before, if you have an application open, this is where it's going to be. So if I five finger pinch, just like that, then you can see that's where the springboard is, another five finger pinch, here is your application. So there's a few things that you can do right here. You can either resize the window just by tapping and dragging. And usually, sometimes, it actually, uh, I don't really know why it does it or what makes it do it, but it actually switches to portrait mode rather than landscape mode. But you can see right here that you can just tap and drag and it's going to resize that window. Now if we bring it over to the side right here, it switches to portrait mode and it actually snaps into place. So you can actually have two separate applications side by side and you're able to multitask, use them both at the same time. So let's go ahead and open up another application just by the five finger pinch. And let's say we just want to open up settings for whatever reason. So we're going to open up settings. We're going to swipe down with four fingers. We're going to minimize this and then we're going to bring it over here to the side and snap it into place. So you can see right here that you can actually swipe through both of these at the exact same time. So that's actually pretty cool. So something that you could use this for maybe would be, you know, you're watching videos on YouTube over here while you're text messaging your friend, your girlfriend, or your boyfriend, or anything like that. You wouldn't necessarily just use it for Safari and settings, but, you know, there are a lot of different things. I mean, you guys know when you're swiping through or going through your uh, app switcher, trying to multitask, going back and forth through apps, you know which ones that you use the most. So you can just use those at the exact same time right here, and it's actually pretty cool. So there's also some other things you can do right here. One thing is four fingers up is actually going to bring up your dock right there. So you don't necessarily always want this here, but it's easy to access those dock applications if you want to open something up. And if they're in the way, just do a four finger swipe down and it's going to go away right there. So you have the full screen real estate to work with. Now, if you want to close out of an application, very easy. Just tap the little X just like that and it's completely gone. Now, if you want to get out of the snapped mode, you would just tap right there and you can see that it took it out of the snapped mode. It's actually made it a little bit bigger and put it into landscape mode. So you can just drag and resize just like that. Now, to get to your desktop views, there's actually two ways to do it. One is swiping up with four fingers, and once the dock is here, just do it one more time, and it's going to give you your desktop view. So you can have separate desktops set up however you want. The other way is to, first of all, to pull this down or to access this screen right here, this springboard, just swipe down with four fingers. Now, if you double press on the home button, that's going to bring you to the desktop view as well. So if you use a Mac, then you probably uh, this probably looks pretty familiar. But you can see through here, we can either tap on a desktop, to open it up or to access it. And then you can just tap on them just like that or you can easily just swipe through. Now you can't swipe 
on the actual application itself as you can see right there that's not going to work but if you swipe on the middle right there just the springboard portion then it's going to allow you to switch through desktops now another really cool thing about this is you can actually take the windows and put them on different desktops so you can see right here that i'm just going to put that on the third desktop so now if i swipe over to the third desktop there it is right there now let's swipe over here and one thing i wish you could do is actually tap on the uh, springboard right there and it would open up but you actually have to pull down with four fingers just like that but let's go ahead and swipe up with four fingers and we can get back through here now in this view you have four desktops up here you can actually have a total number of five so you can see right there that you can uh, add up to five once you have five that's pretty much it that's probably all that you're ever going to need anyways but really if you wanted to delete a desktop then you could just tap and hold and then you have the ability to just X out right there and then that little plus uh, springboard comes out right there. Now actually using this tweak actually takes uh, quite a bit of getting used to just because some of the gestures aren't necessarily 100% intuitive but I mean once you get used to it you kind of get an idea of where he was going with this and how it actually all works but you can see right here that you can quickly switch between you know desktops just by swiping up, swiping over, and then bringing it down. So I mean, it is actually pretty useful. Now, another really cool thing that you can do is actually switch through your desktops just like this using your five fingers. So you can just swipe through just like that. Now, what you're probably asking is, does this work in uh, portrait mode? Well, yes, it does work in portrait mode. The only difference is that you can't snap your windows to the sides of the, uh, the iPad springboard but everything else works completely 100 percent now there's been a few bugs that i've run into where i couldn't get it off the springboard basically just wouldn't recognize any of my touches which was kind of annoying i couldn't get to the app switcher or anything like that there's a few downsides to this one being that you don't have uh, another app switcher like this is all that you have in terms of an app switcher the other really major downside of this tweak is there's no control center as you can see right here there's absolutely no control center so if you want to change your brightness or use any of the toggles in your control center then you're actually just i mean your SOL, you can't do it. You have to go into settings to actually change your brightness or anything like that. So that's a huge downside for me, just because, I mean, I use the control center all the time. But like I said, if you're a hardcore multitasker and you like the way that this looks and how it feels, then you definitely should try it out just because this is a really cool tweak. It's very ambitious and it just completely changes the way that you use your device. So I highly recommend checking this out if it's something that you want to explore. So let me know what you guys think about OS experience in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.